In today's episode, a bike will spit. An Italian will be Italian. And a car will... Uh... Ferrari's logo is the printing horse, but maybe it should be the jumping horse. Old and worn tires are not necessarily a bad thing. For instance, if you have a real drive car and you find yourself on a track day, you can accidentally pull off stuff like this. One of my viewers sent me this with the caption, this is what we live for. I couldn't agree more with you. If your friend is not willing to record you launching your car with only one seat, he is not a real friend. Alright, this is a bad idea, but... Oh well. You know the saying that rich people can live cheaper? Well, this is the reason why. I should try this in my Miata. I found the perfect use for Teslas. Since they make no noise, there is no interference when recording other cars. In this case, it is a Lamborghini Aventador cruising somewhere in the Philippines while being recorded by a Tesla. Again, I am not sure if this is car related since we are talking about cars, but hear me out. In the city I grew up in, Vienna, it was quite common to see trains playing a melody when rolling out of the station. This sound is created by power converters, and oh boy, this video brought back memories. Also, it always reminded me of this one specific sound. During the 2022 SRX series race at Stafford Motor Speedway, the safety car ran into issues after it was unable to close its right door. A driver decided to help, but in the end it did not work out. With if you're a racing fan, what is that? Is Stewart's trying to push the door of the pace car closed? What is that? That was not planned. Uh, no, that was not planned. <laughs> I have no words. Driving an exotic car must be nerve-wracking, especially for the guy that is on the passenger seat. In this case, I can understand his frustration. Oh, oh, oh! It's one, one hour away, this guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I recently bought a car that I'm still afraid to completely floor in a straight line. I guess some people, like this Harley Davidson driver, just know their machine so well that sliding in a straight line is common practice for them. Remember, no matter how many holes you have, this guy has more. This 800 horsepower Mazda Speed 3 has a quad exhaust setup, and yes, every single one can shoot flames. While European trucks are specifically made to take up as little space as possible, this is what Americans do. Basically, they build home-sized rigs to cruise and live through the country. What you watch on TV usually feels extremely different to what is actually happening in real life. The speed of a Formula 1 car is the best example. Yeah. 
this, 1964 Shelby Kerber Dayton Coupe is only one of six to be ever built and the only one to be built in America. In other words, yes, it is pretty rare. But what if I told you that there is a cheaper alternative that may be even slightly better? This is the Factory 5 Daytona Coupe. It is designed to be an accurate replica of the original 1965 World Championship Daytona Coupe. Basically, the goal was to get the look and feel of a classic GT car, but with more comfort and reliability. The base kit costs around $17,000 and the race version you can see right now costs around $23,000. No matter how much you try, you will never achieve this much balance in your life. This is a BMW R1 2000 being balanced by a very experienced rider. <laughs> Around a week ago, the SLS, the second biggest rocket ever launched so far, took off for a 25-day trip around the moon. Meanwhile, we, normal people, have to satisfy ourselves with another kind of rocket. <laughs> What is the best part about having a 700 horsepower Subaru WRX STI? The gauges move at the same time. For me, the most satisfying thing on this planet is watching two extremely experienced drivers battle each other on the Nordschleife. But there is more, wait for it. This is probably the shortest ever lap someone drove on a Nordschleife before crashing. Right after the track exit, a BMW crashed into this Porsche. This really may be the shortest distance for someone to crash after entering the track. I... I don't know what to say here. For the first time in this series, I cannot explain what is happening. One of my viewers found this wicked Land Rover. And who says diesel cars cannot sound good? I will definitely sound like a boomer or a special snowflake car journalist that wants to be unique. But for some reason, I don't feel as impressed anymore when I see a Lamborghini or Porsche on the street. Sure, it's super cool, but it's not jaw-dropping. Unlike this, a Lancia 037 and Delta driving on public roads in the Czech Republic. <laughs> What is the best use for an old Ford Fiesta? Either it becomes a rally car or it becomes this monstrosity. If I ever had to choose a car for a zombie apocalypse, I would immediately choose the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series. Insane reliability paired with decent off-road skills and a lovely V8 4.5 liter diesel engine. Yes, please. <laughs> Remember when I was crying about the Miata wheelbase being too short for it to be a good drift car? Well, check this out. A Fiat 126P with a Fiat Twinkem engine swap, popping wheelies and drifting on dirt.
there was a time where Audi thought they invented something that would make airbags obsolete. Basically, they invented a system where the steering column and seatbelt pretensioners were hooked with a heavy-duty steel cable to the back of the gearbox. In the event of a crash, the steering wheel column would collapse, so the driver does not faceplant it. The only issue with this system was that the steering wheel only retracted right above the kneecaps. So yeah, instead of your face, Audi decided to crush your kneecaps. Which is why Audi gives you the unique Procon 10 safety system that helps keep your head and steering wheel apart. Here is why you should never give up in life, especially if you are a red Ford Mustang. If there is a company that makes electric slash hydrogen cars more appealing, then it's not Tesla, it's Hyundai. This is the Envision 74. It's powered by a hydrogen fuel cell and a storage battery. 671 horsepower to the rear wheels. Yes, please. <laughs> That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.